Google just made Notebook LM so powerful that they had to pull back some features because too many people were using it. And as someone who's trained thousands of professionals on AI tools at some of the biggest companies in the world, like Google themselves or Recharge, I can tell you that this is massive news for founders, marketeers, and basically anyone who wants to get more done in less time. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use Notebook LM's most powerful features for your work, for prepping sales calls to onboarding clients to generating content ideas. Google just rolled out five major updates for Notebook LM. Slide decks powered by Nano Banana Pro, infographics with custom levels of detail. You can customize your infographic, the language, the orientation, the level of detail, and you can prompt it to describe the infographic you want to create. Deep research that scans hundreds of websites to add to your sources, video overviews with much more customization like visual styles, and again, you can prompt what should the AI host focus on in the video, support for more files types like Google Sheets and Word documents. Here's the crazy part. The slide feature got so popular that Google had to temporarily restrict access for free users. That tells you everything you need to know about how powerful these tools are. So now let me show you some practical use cases you can implement today. Use case one, sales call prep with deep research. Let's say you have a high stakes call tomorrow and need to understand everything about the prospect. Normally, this takes an hour of research across multiple tabs and sources, but with the new deep research feature, you can do it in 10 minutes. With the new deep research, when you start a new notebook, you can switch here directly. And I'm going to prompt research LTV plus their recent challenges, leadership changes, market position and pain points in custom support BPO industry. I'm going to keep the web. You can even do deep research in your drive. I'm making sure this is in deep research and not fast research. I'm not uploading any files at the moment and I'm going to start my deep research. It is planning my deep research now. As it says, please stay on this page. It's going to find many, many resources for this. Here we go. It's finalized the research. It's now writing a report like a deep research. And here we are. Strategic assessment of LTV plus in the evolving customer support BPO market, 26 sources discovered. Here we go. You can view the whole deep research just to make sure it's correct. That's cool. So 24, 26 cited in reports, four not cited that you could also add if you want to. Okay, so I don't want these. Oh, maybe this one. That'd be good. All right. I'm going to click now. Let's see if we can close the source view. Now I'm going to import all of this. So I've imported the report itself and also all the cited sources. This is magic. All right. Here we go. This is ready. It's going to now generate a quick summary here, like an overview. It's going to change potentially the titles. Let's see. Yep, here we go. The Entrepreneur Strategy Guide, LTV, BPO, and AI. That's really cool. How deep research works for this. It creates a research plan automatically, browses hundreds of websites on your behalf, takes a few minutes while running in the background, generates a citation ground report with all sources listed. Let's build a slide deck. We have chosen our sources from uh, the deep research to include in this slide deck. Let's generate a clean presentation that we could reference during the call. Let's edit our slide deck. Let's have a detailed deck or a presenter slides. Do I want to show this? No, I don't want to show this. This is more for myself. So I'm going to change it a little bit here. So I've said I want this deck to be a sales deck for myself to review during the call. I'm not going to present this to the lead, but it's for me to know exactly everything about them, their industry, their pain points and how I can help them. I'm actually going to keep it in short, the length, not in default. It's going to be in English. I'm going to click generate and this is going to generate in a few minutes. While that's being created, which usually takes a few minutes, what I will do is I will also create a report. That's cool. So you have create your own briefing doc, study guide, blog post. Oh, all right. Now we also have some suggested format, strategic plan, white paper, case study, explanatory article. Now let's have a strategic plan. This is cool. As you saw, actually, when I clicked on it, I could also come in here and edit the prompt that they're suggesting. 
thing. So that's really cool. So we got two of them going on now. Let's generate an infographic highlighting their top three to five pain points. So let's go on infographic. Let's edit that. I'll have a landscape level of detail. Let's keep it at standard and not detail that's in beta. And here we're going to say something like I'm going to say, all right, here we go. Three to five pain points for LTV plus their industry and how to adopt AI for their business. I'm going to click generate. That's one more thing that we're doing. I'm generating these so that I can have these open during my call with them as a reference. This would help me a ton. I'll export. I'll include my follow up email after the sales call. You can bring in the transcript of the call and then you can do an infographic about the call, mix in all these sources and the call transcript. Then you can send a follow up email. And also with this, you're basically walking into every sales call looking like you've done weeks of research. Your prospect feels understood before you even start talking. Why used to take hours now takes 10 minutes. Here we are. Let's see our first asset. Ooh, a nice infographic. Three key pain points facing the custom service industry in the age of AI. LTV Plus and other BPO companies navigate the balance between human expertise and AI integration and customer support, facing unique challenges in talent, security, and scaling. This looks all correct to me. Pain point one, the automation dilemma. Pain point two, the talent and trust crisis. Pain point three, the growth gauntlet. Wow, this is really good. Look at these images as a really nice infographic this is powered by nano banana pro so look at the quality of this infographic it's incredible let's check out our strategic plan here we go a strategic plan for bp entrepreneurship navigating the landscape of 2025 and beyond you got sources this is a good strategic plan this is cool you can go through this before your call you can copy this, you can summarize it, you can do a lot of things, obviously. Real quick, if you want to see how AI ready your company actually is, click the first link below to take my free eight question assessment. It'll just take you five minutes. You'll get a custom roadmap showing exactly what you need to do next. Now, back to the video. So we have our strategic plan. We have our infographic. We're waiting for our slide deck, which takes a little bit longer, but I believe the quality is going to be incredible. Here we go. Our slide deck is ready. Let's open this up. Oh, this looks really good. So we can share this. We can download it. We can start the slideshow. We can expand the viewer. We can slide start the slideshow like this. Confidential sales briefing, LTV Plus. It got even their logo this is wicked the date is wrong that's really funny this is why you got to be careful with ai i'm not recording this on october 18th so this is completely wrong but that's fine maybe it was on purpose not sure a modern bpo leader redefining customer experience with a human ai hybrid model this is cool you can see when it was founded the mission recognition Oh, this is really cool. So you can understand much more about the industry, about the client. Oh, this is really cool. Let's close our slide deck. And of course, you can ask a bunch of questions here to work with the sources. You can tell it to help you prepare for the call. And you have all these incredible now materials as well. You can also download those materials, rename them. This is very cool. I really do like the new slide deck and infographic. The new deep research is magical. So here's another use case client onboarding with slide decks new client just signed and my entire team needs to get up to speed fast everyone's asking questions about scope deliverables and timelines i need everyone aligned with without spending hours creating materials I'm building my knowledge base all right here we go you can upload the signed contract add project briefs and requirements docs you can include brand guidelines add any discovery call notes you can add transcripts all your previous communications as emails then you can generate the slide deck for the onboarding here this time what you could do is you could go for detailed deck you could go for default you could say something like i am onboarding this client please create a document that i can share with my team to understand everything we're doing with this client i'll click on generate in a few minutes i'll have a deck just like before i'll have a deck that i can share with my team so they know who the client is what's their pain points what's the agreement that we have you just have to upload your own sources this is cool you can come in here add source you can upload files websites drive from your google drive you can copy and paste text if you're on the pro plan meaning if you have a google workspace a professional google workspace you get up to 300 sources that's a lot of sources i've tried to max this out i've got about 150 sources in one of my notebooks you can create a lot of material that becomes your team's reference point you can pin it in slack or your project management tool your entire team is aligned on day one no more wait what did the client want the question
questions. Everyone has the same information in an easy to digest format. You can also, of course, create an audio overview, a video overview, which I have a video about those. Those are not new features, but they're very cool. There are some new video kind of capabilities, so you can change the visual style now. And you have now explainer or brief. You have the prompt. I really like that you have these visual styles, but you can also create your own custom style by telling what's the style that you're looking for. So you could create enough materials. You could create a podcast, a little videos, mind maps, a few reports. You could even create some flashcards. You could even create quiz and quiz every team member so that you get to know this client this strategic client really well infographics slide decks as we showed i think notebook lm is one of the most powerful tools for businesses and we're still not using it even myself i don't use it enough you could then add notes so here you can kind of create your own notes you can bring material you can kind of brainstorm and then you can convert that to sources so that they are then also considered for the next generation of material. And of course, let's not forget, you can ask anything you want here. You create great content, but it only lives in one format. You know you should be repurposing, but it takes too much time. And hiring a designer for every social post isn't realistic. Let's try something interesting here. And here we go. I'm going to create a new notebook and I'm going to upload a file. And this file is a very, very, very long guide that I have written about cloud code it's a cloud code business guide here we go i've uploaded this and cloud code the no code business operating system that's perfect you could upload much more you can upload existing blog posts you could add transcript from your youtube videos or podcasts you can include any presentations or webinars you've done all of these can become your source material for endless repurposing creating social media assets from your content so let's try to get some linkedin posts let's get an infographic let's get it landscape let's Let's make it concise. I'm going to add my colors. I'm going to say, use these colors, create an infographic for a LinkedIn post. Keep it minimal and professional. Let's generate this. As you can see from a guide, I'm now going to create an infographic. In the meantime, while I'm creating the infographic, I'm going to come here to the chat. All right, I'm going to say, create a LinkedIn post to promote this guide. I'm going to send that out, creating sources, consulting your sources, looking at your sources. It's doing a lot of things with my sources. Here we go. I I get three options for my LinkedIn post, each using a different hook. That's cool. Let's see. Option one, the contrarian hook, best for generating de debate and challenging the audience assumptions. That's cool. Headline, Anthropic gave the most powerful business tool in history the worst possible name. That's true. If you're in a business and you've ignored cloud code because you think it's for developers, you are competing one with one hand tied behind your back. I'm not technical. I don't write code, yet I use cloud code as my business operating system to manage a multi-million dollar operation. That's so true. Well, it's taking, obviously, everything from my guide. This is very cool. Ooh, download the guide here. It gives a link, it gives some hashtags. Oh, I get another option. Oh, I really like that one. It's using a bit of emoji before, after result. That's really cool. Option three. Perfect. Well, I want to see if I have an infographic to go with one of these posts. Let's click here in our infographic. Oh, this is cool. It has used my blue. It has used our orange. Is that our white potentially? Is that our black potentially? I think it has used all our colors. Obviously, it can't do logos yet, but you could download this on Canva, stick your own logo on top of it if you want it, or just use Notebook LM. Hopefully they'll launch an API, an official API soon, where we can also control the logo, or maybe in our preferences, if we could upload our own logo, that would be great. Cloud Code, the business OS hiding behind the code is named, the most powerful business automation tool in AI has the most misleading name. The name is a lie, run your core business on autopilot. This is so true, this is incredible. I definitely would download this, and I'll put one of those LinkedIn posts together, the text, the infographic, and here we go. The next one, the infographic, you could change to portrait. So you could use that orientation for Instagram stories. You could switch to Square to format it for Twitter and Facebook and so on. As you saw, I had one piece of long form content. It can become five to 10 social posts. Each graphic is based on your expertise and voice because it's your sources. It's no generic AI content. It's all grounded in your actual work and takes five minutes instead of hiring a designer. You can use Notebook LM for many other use cases. You could use it to stay ahead of your competition. You do need to understand what competitors are doing or where you're industry is heading so you could do deep research about your industry you could do deep research about your competitors which i do a lot because reading dozens of articles and reports really does eat up your entire afternoon you could then use this to brief your team about competition about the industry about what's happening just select deep research write about your competitor names or you could write something like research the current state of ai automation in marketing agencies including key trends tools and what the top agencies are doing as you saw in the deep research we get even a little summary of the deep research 
get organized sections breaking down different aspects. You get full citations to credible sources. You'll get statistics and data points with links to verify. You'll get multiple perspectives from different sources. You'll get a table. And as you saw, turning research into team assets, very easy. Create slide deck, create on presenter slides, put your prompt in, click generate. You'll get your slides. Click on infographic. If you want to edit it, you can click on the pen. You can kind of describe the infographic you want to create and the different orientation or the level of detail. So about the deep research, you can even ask questions first, kind of brainstorm with this notebook and then generate the pieces of information. The results you get, you can compress weeks of research into 15 minutes, get a comprehensive view instead of fragmented information, brief your team with professional materials instantly, make informed strategic decisions backed by real data and stay ahead of your competition without hiring analysts. Now, of course, Notebook LM is just one piece of the AI puzzle. If you want to try Truly transform how your entire team works with AI, you can click the first link in the description and get my free AI readiness assessment and roadmap. You just answer eight simple questions and you'll receive a fully personalized assessment that shows you exactly what it takes to become AI ready in 2026. So click the first link below to take the assessment now. And if you want to see how you can save $50,000 or more using custom GPTs for your business, then watch this video next.